Hi gorgeous glamorous girls and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Scarlett. Today is a very very exciting day because as you can see behind me we're waiting for the Victoria's Secret fashion show to begin. I'm so excited I've been counting down the days for this morning for so long. Obviously I'm based in Australia so for me it's morning it's nine o'clock in the morning. I thought we could get ready together before the show starts. So I'm just gonna do my simple sort of everyday Victoria's Secret Angel inspired makeup and talk you through that while we have a quick chat about the show. Starting off with primer, I'm using Milani Bright Side Illuminating Primer because we all know the Victoria's Secret Angels are very glowy and shiny. And then I'm going to go in with Revlon Glow Filter. This is like a bit of a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury that I've been really enjoying recently. Please excuse the background as well. If you're an OG subscriber, you would know this is not my regular background or my apartment. I am in my mom and dad's house at the moment because they're away and it suits me better anyway because I get to watch the show on their big TV while I look after the house. Just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. When I was a teenager, I'm talking like... 13, 14, 15, so 2013, 2014, 2015. I was obsessed with the Victoria's Secret fashion show. I was obsessed with the angels. Like I followed it religiously as a young teenager. And then obviously the show went away for so long. So I kind of forgot about it, but I've always loved like everything very girly and glamorous that the fashion show sort of brings. I'm just going in with Emco Beauty Miracle, Miracle Flawless Skin Foundation. So maybe you know this, maybe you don't know this, but the Victoria's Secret fashion show did come back last year and they tried to recreate it, but they did it very differently. I think it was very like Gen Z sort of inspired. They tried to make it more like it girl vibes, Kendall Jenner sort of cool girl, and it just wasn't what Victoria's Secret used to be. And I think that that really upset a lot of people because we wanted it to be pink. We wanted it to be girly and feminine and glamorous. I mean, obviously we all wanna see inclusivity and stuff like that on the runway. It's 2024, so we don't wanna just see everyone who looks exactly the same one type of way. I think this year Victoria's Secret's really kind of nailed it, where they've left it feminine and girly and how exactly how we wanted it, the OG sort of feeling, but just with more inclusivity. I'm adding the matching concealer to the glow filter that I use. This is Revlon Luminance. I had no girlfriends to watch the show with. All of my friends live in the city and my closest friend in my hometown is my gay best friend and my mom who's not here. So this really felt like a girl's moment and I thought who better to watch it with than you guys. Now to add a lot of bronzer, I'm using this Peaches and Cream Cream Bronzer and the Peaches and Cream Bronzer Brush. And we all know a Victoria's Secret Angel is super bronzy. I'm really interested to see how they do the makeup on the show this year. Like, is it going to be the OG sort of look that I'm doing now? Or are they going to do something completely different? I really hope all the angels still have winged eyeliner. But we all know I'm going to be recreating the makeup looks on my YouTube channel as soon as we see what they are because I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna set all of that with Emco Beauty Miracle Flawless Pressed Powder. I've used so many Charlotte Tilbury dupes in this makeup look. Add a little bit of extra bronzer. I find it so hard to do base makeup with rollers in, but it just makes sense because the rollers can set while you do your makeup. I'm so interested to see what you guys are set up to watch this fashion show is because obviously like people are watching from all around the world for people in america it's going to be nighttime obviously i don't know what it is in the uk and europe but i'm interested to know i just added some pink blush this is the jordana tisha cosmetics blush duo in doll face i know the victoria's secret angels actually wore red blush but I just want this look to look really, really girly. So I'm doing lots of pink blush. And then I'm adding heaps of my favorite highlighter. This is Benefit Cookie. I want to be glowing from out of space this morning. Brushing up my brows with Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, my favorite brow gel. For eyeshadow, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Beautyverse and blending this pink color into my crease and all over my lid. Let's add a little bit of champagne glitter all over the lid. I simply just have to add a wing. It would be a crime not to. 
Okay, not the best set of wings that I've ever done in my life, but we're in a rush, so it's gonna have to do. I'm adding some Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara on top. I would normally add lashes, but I'm not gonna do that today. And then I need to add lipstick, so I'm gonna use this Mecca Max lip liner in the shade Pout. This is like the perfect pink nude. MAC lipstick in shade Honey Love. And then, of course, Victoria's Secret Sugar High Flavored Gloss. Victoria's Secret glosses are unbeatable. Okay, that's the makeup look. Let's go and make breakfast quickly before the show starts. This is my breakfast setup. We have a croissant and some strawberries, a orange juice, my pink iced latte that I made. Sadly, the pink's kind of faded into the glass, but it still looks cute. Okay, pink iced latte taste test. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. It might not be pink in color, but it's perfect. Will be making their return to the stage. The show has started. It's on behind me. I'm drinking my coffee. Life is literally worth living right now. It's already, it's been on for like two minutes and it's already giving me 2014 vibes. They've nailed it and I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I just realized I forgot to put on Victoria's Secret Body Mist after I did my glam. So let's do that now. This is my favorite Victoria's Secret scent, Coconut Passion. Love. show is about to begin. I think it's time to take out my rollers and really settle in to my Victoria's Secret Angel persona while I watch. Okay girlies, we're ready. There's five minutes on the clock. It's all happening. good bakery in my house this morning we're reclining we're getting ready
The show's over, sadly, but I thought let's do a little bit of a recap. I can talk you through what I thought of it because there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, so I want to start off by saying it definitely felt like OG Victoria's Secret was back. It felt very girly and glamorous, exactly like how I remember it as a teenager. Although I do remember, I feel like it used to be longer back in the day. It felt very short. I will say that much. But I loved it. It was exactly the vibes were there. I love how we started off with the original kind of collection where everything was pink and the pink and white stripes. And then we had the glittery collection. Both of those were my absolute favorite. I mean, the classic Victoria's Secret is always going to be my favorite. Pink and white stripes. It's so iconic. But I love the more like sexy, like a bit edgy ones they do too. Like the black collection and the red collection. So glamorous. So it girl. I was obsessed with it. Particularly when it's like the black and red collection. Like the energy. It's infectious. Gigi Hadid modeling the iconic pink set with the huge pink wings that was the highlight for me that was my favorite look of the entire show Cher's performance literally gave me goosebumps when she first came out i was like tearing up what an icon i can't believe they got Cher to do that she was incredible i posted this on my instagram story but the highlight of watching the victoria's secret fashion show now that i'm a grown up with a big girl money is that I can shop everything. I can shop the runway. Within five minutes of the show starting, I'd already spent $250. I'll insert my order of what I got. I mean, I'll do an unboxing and everything when it arrives, but that is what I chose. I wanted to get a few other things, but they were sold out so quickly. I don't know if everyone else was shopping the runway or just me or like things that sold out beforehand. I don't actually know how that worked because I hadn't gone onto the website to look before the show had started. But yeah, a lot of things were already sold out, particularly in my size. But that's what I got. I wanna wear this like little pink slip dress out. Like I'm not gonna wear that as sleepwear. I'm gonna style that to wear out on a night out or something. I think it will be so girly and glamorous. I saw one of the models was wearing like a sheer long pink dress. A lot of the things that they showed actually weren't available online. I don't know if they're gonna come later, but yeah. 
I really wanted this like sheer long pink dress. I'll see if I can insert a picture and it had like a pink sparkly crop top bra top thing underneath and I was obsessed with that but I couldn't find it. I was just scrolling through TikTok and so many New York influencers were invited to go. That is my new career highlight. I am locking down now and manifesting. Forget the Met Gala. My whole career highlight is to be invited to the Victoria's Secret fashion show. So when that happens, I'll know that I made it. And I'll thank you guys who've been supporting me from the beginning because we will get there together. <laughs> I believe in the power of manifestation. I posted a TikTok video while I was watching it and so many people were commenting the show was so bad, it was not like old Victoria's Secret, like they didn't like it. I'm confused because I thought it was amazing. I thought it was exactly like how I remember old Victoria's Secret fashion shows. I love that it was so pink and girly and feminine. Show was insane. All the original models came back, which was like incredible and it gave me goosebumps to see every single one of them and they all looked stunning. I'm such a Candace fan. Candace has always been my favorite angel, but I gotta be honest, Gigi stole the show tonight. She ate that, she absolutely ate. I'm buzzing, I'm on a high. That was so fun and exciting and exhilarating. I had the absolute best time watching that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me and watching it from home wherever you did. And I hope that my video can help you relive the excitement of it. I can't wait to recreate the makeup looks from the show and style my pieces that I ordered. If anything else drops online, I'll be there buying it. Don't worry guys. If you see anything that I should get, send it to me and I'll get it. Trust, trust me. This entire room smells so strong of Victoria's Secret body spray because I sprayed so much while I was watching it. Just the excitement of it all. I feel like I'm there in the moment. Anyway, it's now midday in Australia. I have to get on with my day. I have to edit this video and get it up for you guys so you can enjoy it. I love you all. Thank you for watching the Victoria's Secret fashion show with me. And I will see you guys in my next girly glamorous video. If you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy Victoria's Secret fashion show day. Bye.